Hi there, in this video we'll be recreating this paper cow game which is made in Scratch in GDevelop 5. So before we begin, let's take a look at the game. So go ahead and preview this. The goal of the game is to get as much paper clips as possible within 60 seconds. So you have to get all these clips while moving as a cow. So we would be recreating this in GDevelop, so let's begin. Now back in GDevelop, I have all my sprites placed out and we're going to go through all the sprites one after the other. I would also leave a link in the description to download all the sprites. So first of all, we have our pig, which is to serve as our character. We can go ahead and open up our pig. And our pig has some directional movements, which is up, right, left and down oh sorry this is right and left left the object has no behavior apply next up we have our grass which is just a sprite object once again no behavior apply and we also have our clip our clip has two animations, which is one, an animation zero, it would be set to this animation until the player is in collision with it, and once the um, player, which is the cow, is in collision, it plays the second animation and then deletes our clip. We can go ahead, apply this, and we also have our timer text, which would be the timer counting to um, 60, and we also have our score text, which is clip count, which would count the total clips the pig was in collision with. So with that done, we can go into our events, or new scene events. Now the first thing we'll do is check for key presses, which is up, down, right, and left. So let's go ahead, add a condition, let's go key, released, we'll be using the key released, and we'll go with up. So once up key is released, we need to set the animation of our pig. So pig animation, change the animation by name to up, apply. And we also need to change the Y position so the pig moves. So add an action and pig and position. So we'll change the Y position. We'll set this to a value of would we'll get the pig Y, pig dot Y. Since we're moving upwards, we'll subtract um, 30 from it. Okay, now add new events, add a condition. Let's search up a key released. Let's go for our down key. So once down key is released, add an action. Pig, set the animation. Change the animation by name to down. Okay, and we also need to change the Y position by adding 30 to it. So add an action, pig, position, change the Y position sign, set to, and pig, the plus um, 30. Now let's go for our right, add new events, add a condition. So pig, sorry about that, key pressed, key released, and the key we'll be checking for is the right key. So once the right key is released, add an action, pig and animation, change the animation by the name of the pig to right. Okay, and also let's change the position. So pig and position change, we're moving on the x axis, so pig.x sign set to and would add um, 30 on the x axis. Okay, add new events, add a condition. Let's go key released and we'll be searching for last key which is left. We'll be checking for our last key which is left, okay. And add an action, pig animation, change the animation by name to um, left. Okay, and add an action, let's also change the position of pig. So pig and position on the x-axis, sign, set to value. We get our pig dot x on the x axis and we're going to subtract um, 30 from it. Okay, we can go ahead and preview this. And we have this our pig is moving both up, 
down, right and left. Now let's check for a collision which is when our pig is in collision with the clip. So add new events, add a condition. So pig is in collision with our clip. Okay, once that is true, we need to delete the clip. So search up clip and delete the object clip. Okay, and also once we delete the object, we need to create a new clip. So add an action, let's go clip and create an object. This should be a random. So on the exposition, we search up random. So random float, random in range of zero on the x axis, zero, a comma, and a scene. We'll check for scene window um, width as the maximum value of our random in range. For y position, we'll do the same random in range zero, comma, scene window height that would be the base layer and okay we can preview this so here's our pig and it's in collision it creates a whole new clip while deleting the old one there we go now let's work on our score we need to score the player once it's in collision with the clip so let's close this and we need to create a scene variable to store this data so add an action let's go scene um variable value of a scene variable the variable name would be score the sign would be set to sorry would add for now we'll add um one data in between and also set this to trigger once we don't want it added more than one okay so with that done um add new events add an action and Let's select our text, clip count, modify the text, sign set to, and the value would be based on our variable string, and which is score. So that's the name of our variable, the variable we created right here. We can go ahead and preview this. And here we go. It should add one, two, three, and now we need to work on our timer there are two ways you can do this on um, timer you can go ahead and download an extension in jdevelop which should be the um, timer extension timer and yeah which should be this extension um, time formatting we can also use this um, repeats every x seconds but for this we're trying to make this as basic as possible so back into our events let's add a new event and add a condition and we'll create a timer and value of a scene timer which is this and our timer's name would be time i know that's weird but let's use time for now so time and the sign of this is we check if it's greater than one second and once that is true we need to change a um, variable so we'll go ahead create a variable which is value of a scene variable there we go, value of a scene variable. Our variable name would be time. The sign would be add and the value would be one. So we would add one and let's not forget to reset the timer. We go ahead timer and reset the object's timer. No, not object timer, reset the scene timer, the timer's name, which is time and okay. Now we need to ensure we start this timer at the beginning of the scene, so add a new event. I'll copy my reset timer, copy, paste, and add a condition. And we'll check for the beginning of the scene. So once that is true, we can go ahead, drag this to the bottom, and modify the text. So add an action, select timer, and modify the text. Sign, set to, to our variable, scene variable, which is um, time. Okay, and save this and preview. And here we go. So it's adding um, every second. There we go, four, five, six, and seven. So let's say we get to um, 60, which is one minute. We can do that by checking our variable time. So add a new event, add a condition, and let's go variable. So value of the scene variable, the variable name is time. And once this is um, greater than, sorry equals to um 60 
Now you can go ahead and pass in whatever action you want. Let's say you have a game over scene where you want to display the score. You can go ahead and add an action here to do that. For this, I would be resetting my scene. So scene. And there we go. Change the scene to the same scene. So that should restart the scene again. And there we go. So we've successfully created this game in GDevelop 5. So that's how easy it is. If you want to download the templates, a link would be in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.